hey guys welcome back to all and unlaw this is a quick pediatrics or pediatric surgery and today I'm gonna talk about indications for indications for adenoidectomy in a previous video we discussed about the indication for what you call uh, tonsillectomy okay so before starting this uh, lecture I would request you if you're a patient or you're listening to this these videos or uh, this video if you wanna go ahead with the adenoidectomy for um, or any infection of adenoid and you wanna know more about this you better or if you wanna get treated for this you have to consult your physician or surgeon for that okay rather than watching this video Right, this is here we are discussing only important points for our uh, USMLE or uh, any other medical board examinations. Okay, guys, so let's start. What are the indications for adenoidectomy? So, remember the first indication the very important if there is a chronic infection of chronic nasal infection that's failed to what you call medical therapy, medical therapy has failed. Okay, then you can do adenoidectomy chronic what you call chronic um, sinus infection sinusitis sinus infection that has failed to medical therapy look at this they, if they have failed for medical therapy then only we can think of adenoidectomy okay and other thing is a recurrent or a chronic otitis media in children with the, what you call a tympanostomy tubes and persistent otoria tympanostomy tube and persistent otoria what is otoria is nothing but discharge from the ear persistent otoria like a diarrhea we have otoria okay and other thing is if there is a nasal obstruction with chronic mouth breathing and loud snoring and if there is a nasal blockage nasal obstruction okay uh, with chronic mouth breathing that's really important not for acute chronic mouth breathing okay right guys so, and loud snoring and remember one indication that is uh, that way you can do tonsillectomy and adenoidectomy both is the one is that is upper airway obstruction secondary to what you call hypertrophy resulting in the sleep disorder breathing and the complications then you can do both tonsillectomy and adenoidectomy okay guys so this is about the brief discussion about the indications for adenoidectomy thank you so much for watching this video take care